drop a like and sub in the next 5 seconds and this will be your Fortnite account. If you don't, this will be your account. With Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 releasing in 41 days time, we've got all new information about next season from brand new vehicles that will be making their way into the game, new information about the upcoming Marvel Battle Pass that obviously is going to include tons of brand new skins, and even some information about the Chapter 3 Season 4 live event. So trust me, you want to make sure you're staying tuned to the very end of this video as we're going to be going over everything Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4 related. It honestly sounds like it's going to be pretty insane. Just quickly, in case any of you guys are new, we still do get 5 new and all subscribers every single day here inside the Fortnite item shop. So if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. Most importantly, make sure to drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID and what item from the item shop you would like to have gifted to you on your account. And well, make sure you are keeping an eye out for the secret word hidden in this video to give you an even better chance of receiving a gift from me. And well, if you have picking up anything for yourself, you can see using my support creator code YTORA as it greatly supports the channel and it allows me to do even more giveaways for you guys. Hashtag that. And with all of that being said, let's get straight into today's video. So where we already have tons of leaks inside of the game files right now here inside of season 3 about all brand new vehicles that should be arriving inside of the next season. And obviously we do know that at some point we will be getting the addition of motorcycles in Fortnite throughout season 4 which is definitely pretty cool. I'm actually really excited to see what that vehicle is like. But what we do know about the motorcycle motorcycle vehicle is epic began working on motorcycles recently which use the same animations as riding animals it has two seats plus you can boost and drift with them but they definitely do look like they are going to be a pretty cool vehicle to obviously have added in for and hopefully we are able to do some stunts with these vehicles not only that epic games are actually working on a brand new skateboard vehicle which we're still not entirely sure exactly if it will be releasing here inside of season three or at the start of Fortnite season four but obviously we have seen though that we do actually have a skate park poi right next to the sanctuary as a part of the No Sweat Summer event. When the summer event started, we did not actually get the addition of these new skateboard vehicles, which is definitely pretty unfortunate, but we still know they are working on them. As you can see from the background of this video, here's an early draft of what exactly the skateboarding feature will look like, but still 100% will be making its way into the game at some point, most likely inside of Season 4. The next vehicle is the one that I'm personally most excited for, and this is actually going hand in hand with everything going on inside of Chapter 3 Season 4. Obviously, you probably would have heard right now that we actually do know next season should be an upcoming Marvel collaboration season, just like we did see inside of Chapter 2 Season 4. We did have the full Marvel Battle Pass, including skins such as Thor, Wolverine, and obviously Iron Man. Following the same formula here inside of Season 4 in the Chapter 3 Island, it looks like we will be seeing an upcoming Marvel collaboration yet again. As for a brand new vehicle that will be arriving next season, it looks like we're going to be getting a brand new updated version of the mech. But what we do know about this brand new mech is Epic began working on a new character mech-like vehicle codenamed Playhawk. A few updates ago, it has a blocking ability, primary and secondary fire, plus it can sprint and reload. I need to go on saying probably for season 4, thoughts on what it could be. Now obviously, if we're going to be getting a Marvel season next season, this is kind of making me think that we could be seeing a brand new Hulk Buster armor item that will be making its way into the game. Personally, would be super sick, it could even be just a reskin version of the old mechs that we did have inside of season Season X and obviously at the end of chapter 2. That is the case, it looks like we could even be seeing the return of the Stark Industries POY, seeing as we did see that on the chapter 2 map, obviously for just that season inside of season 4. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about this brand new Playhawk mech item that will be coming to the game next season? Do you hope it is a Hulkbuster armor? But obviously, we will be able to use on the Fortnite map, which I honestly think would be super sick. Moving on, we obviously do have other information about Fortnite season for as well, considering it is looking like next season's big villain will be none other than the Marvel character known as Modoc. Well, the reason we do know this is actually from an interview that Donald Mustard actually had after the release of Chapter 2 Season 4. He did mention the likes of things, saying that this is only the start of the Marvel collaborations, considering obviously since Season 4 last chapter, we've seen a lot of different Marvel collaborations. Having the likes of Spider-Man in the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass, and then obviously in the Resistance Season, we did have Doctor Strange. Not to forget the fact that we still have the release of the Marvel Zero War comic book, which is actually going to be directly related to everything going on inside of Season 4. So obviously, if you guys have been actually keeping up with that comic book, it is all about a storyline going on with 
with the seven and obviously some heroes from the Marvel comics. Well, we do know that the final issue of this comic book will be releasing on September 28th, just one week after the release of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4. This could be very similar to what we did see inside of Chapter 2 Season 3. If any of you guys do remember in the lobby screen, we actually had the appearance of a comic book the last few weeks of that season. This comic book gave us a little bit of context to exactly what it was gonna be actually happening inside of Season 4, considering we didn't know that Thor was actually working with Galactus. And somehow in that comic book, they both ended up on the Fortnite Island, going through a rift in the sky. That is exactly how, obviously, Thor brought in all the Marvel heroes onto the Fortnite Island back inside of that season to obviously take on Galactus, which obviously was the live event for that season. I would be surprised if the final issue of the Zero War comic book obviously does say to be continued inside of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4, obviously giving us a little bit of a cliffhanger. That way, we can obviously get tons of brand new Marvel themed map changes and the addition of the brand new Modoc character from the interview, which I'll let you guys listen to right now. The reason why we called even this season Nexus War is this is just the start. This is the start of lots of stuff we have planned for many years in this Marvel integration. Like this is not, this is not the end, this is the beginning. Even now we're plotting out kind of what are some of the big cool things that we're doing in, in the next year and the year after that. And um, so that's really it, is I have so many favorite characters that's gonna sure. take years to get them all in, in, into this world. MODOK is amazing. And so it's really just thinking like, again, it has to all be in an authentic way. So it's like, if MODOK learned that there was a slice of reality where Fortnite exists and, and you don't have enough context yet and the players don't have enough context yet of what's actually going on in, in the world of Fortnite, but I think MODOK would be very interested in what's going on there. And, and then maybe there's a way he plays into that. Yeah! Personally, this has me super excited considering Modok is one of the biggest villains inside of Marvel's history, and I'm actually really curious to see exactly what happens with him. So I did actually get a leak the other day that AIM will invade the island with outposts scattering the map. With Modok on his travels to take control of the Zero Point, he is said to be the focus of the next live event, with some other Fortnite antagonists said to be helping him. So that obviously could even mean the Cube Queen, it could mean Geno, considering we still have that storyline going on. It could even be the new Bloom Watch a character who obviously we've seen at the very end of chapter 3 season 3 cinematic trailer. When it comes to a live event inside of chapter 3 season 4, it most likely will revolve around us obviously helping some Marvel characters in order to take out MODOK obviously for the live event. And obviously for this brand new collaboration we are set to be getting a brand new Marvel themed battle pass, which honestly I'm most excited for. It is said that we are actually supposed to be getting a brand new Falcon skin inside of this battle pass as well, who obviously is now the leader of the Avengers. I also got a leak saying that he will be arriving next season and he will have an MCU suit and also a comic book version. Another edit style more or less being his Captain America variant. And not only that, it is also said that he should be getting a brand new mythic item that should work the exact same way that we obviously had the silver surfboard mythic item back inside of season 4 and chapter 2. We'll be able to launch us up into the sky and obviously be able to redeploy the glider. And it was also said as well that when it does come to the battle pass, it is looking like they want to have at least two Two X-Men characters arrive inside of it, and the four characters that their options are are actually going to be Cyclops, who I think would look super cool, and also Magneto, and also Quicksilver. Well, personally, I'm hoping this skin arrives in the game, which is obviously going to be the X-Men character known as the Beast, who obviously is just this kind of blue furry character. But definitely be maining if he does make his way into next season's battle pass. And well, for any of you guys who have been patiently waiting for the arrival of Spider-Man Miles Morales, it looks like he also may be the secret skin of next season. When he does arrive in the game, he will have tons of different edit styles from all of his different comic books and also some of his different game history. That could mean a streetwear version of the suit or any of the suits that we actually have in the Spider-Man Miles Morales PS5 game. If any of you guys who actually played that, let me know down in the comments out of all of the suits in that game, which one would you like to see arrive inside of Fortnite? We are also, also set to get a brand new assembly skin, very similar to the way we do have the snap skin here inside of this season where we can unlock new parts for him. This time around it is looking like it's going to be a brand new Iron Man suit armor where we actually will be able to customize the armor pieces and also change the skin between a male and a female and also change the color scheme basically making your very own Iron Man suit here inside of Fortnite which I definitely think would be super cool considering a lot of people missed out on the first Iron Man skin that we did have as the tier 100 back inside of chapter 2. Personally I think this would be a great addition even better than that skin in my personal opinion. Unfortunately guys that is all I pretty much have for you in today's video for the secret world 
word of today's video, it is going to be the word Iron Man. So if you watched all the way to the very end of this video, make sure to drop that word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Peace.